Welcome Capricorn to your June new moon reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this period. Capricorn, this new moon is going to take place on the 6th of June and it's going to be in Gemini. So it's all about our communication. It's about new beginnings and it's about getting out there, socializing, networking, and meeting new people. So what we are going to do is we're going to take a look and see what the possible energies are that are coming through for you over this period. I've started off with your oracle cards, which is going to give us our core messages, and then I will clarify everything further with the tarot. Capricorn, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first message you have is number 19, Libra, I balance. And Libra's energy is very nice to see here, my dear Capricorns, because it's the energy of partnerships. And we saw you have the seventh house energy of partners coming through. It speaks to us of bliss in our relationships, heart blessings. It speaks to us of balance, of mutual support. So it's a very harmonious energy coming in. And once I pull the tarot, we will see what that is all about. You then have number 30, the sixth house, routine. And this energy speaks to us of our day-to-day -day activities. It could be your job could be how you work. It's about paying attention to the details. What are you working on? What are your responsibilities? Checking to see that everything is going the way you want it to go. So it's going to be interesting to see what that's all about. And then you have number 31, seventh house, partners. And the energy of partners is actually a very nice energy to work with, with our new moon being in Gemini which is all about socializing, getting out there, networking, trying something new, being flirty. So it's an ideal time to meet new people and make new connections. So let's start off over here with Libra Eye Balance, and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. Right, let us see now what this Libra energy is. Or Capricorn, please. And we have the Ace of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the King of Swords. Capricorn, you are coming out under this energy as King of Swords. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of King of Swords I am speaking about. Now, what I am seeing, my dear Capricorns, is Four of Cups is telling me that there is a particular relationship or it could be a situation in your life where you are feeling incredibly unfulfilled. Now, Capricorn, this could be that you've just reached a stage in a friendship, in a business relationship, in a romantic relationship, where you feel like, you know what, this is actually going nowhere fast. I'm bored. This person doesn't inspire me. This person is of no interest to me. It could be a situation, my dear Capricorns. It could be that you've just been doing a particular job for so long and you're longing for a change. Every day, the same thing, the same people, the same problems, and I see that you're getting quite tired, despondent, and listless. Over this new moon period, we have something quite wonderful coming in for you. Here we see the hand of God coming in with the cup of abundance, and here we see the ace of swords, hand of God, coming in with the sword of victory, the sword of success and clarity. But interestingly, my dear Capricorns, it all starts with you. You are being asked to work with our King of Swords energy. Now, first of all, King of Swords is very strong. 
being a king. So now you've been asked to step up because you now want to bring balance, harmony and ease back into your life. Whatever this situation is, this is the period to look at it very clearly and use our King of Swords energy, your mental clarity, your intellect, your logic, your strategic planning in thinking of, right, how am I going to get out of this and bring balance back into my life and bring myself into the energy of where I feel inspired, excited and motivated again. As you can see here, our King of Swords is holding up the sword. You are going to use your intellect, my dear Capricorns. You're going to use your mental power over this new moon and look at this situation very practically. And you're going to make a plan on how to bring about a very swift and effective plan that takes you out of this energy and puts you into the energy of being in a place where you feel the energy of the Cup of Abundance and the Ace of Swords. We see you over this new moon period really taking firm control of a situation. Now, this Four of Cups could come through in one particular area or it could be in various areas of your life. I'm getting the energy Capricorn over this new moon of a clean up, a change, a shift. It's like, you know what, I'm not staying where my needs are not met anymore. I'm not staying in a job or in a relationship just to make other people happy. You are looking at what you need now, my dear Capricorns. And I see you being very clear in your communication. I see you working with our King of Swords energy. You're not going to suffer fools. You're going to say exactly what you want and how you want it. You're going to be very good in terms of speaking about your needs, what you will accept and what you won't accept. With our Ace of Swords coming through here, I think through your communication, you're going to bring about any changes that you want to see in your life. If this is moving out of a relationship or a situation, you're going to verbalize it very clearly. Like if this is the energy of leaving a job because you are bored, you're going to let your boss know very clearly. For example, if you've been doing the same job for five years and you've always asked your boss for more responsibility or to move to another department and it was not acknowledged, You'll be coming to your boss saying, here is my resignation. You've left me no option. You have not listened to my requests. I will be leaving on this and this date. You are straight to the point. If this is the energy of you feeling this in a relationship, it could be you coming to a friend or a significant other. Same sort of energy, my dear Capricorns. I have asked so many times for us to do this together, for you to listen, for you to be there for me. Unfortunately now, you have left me no choice, but I'm moving on out. These are very simple examples, but I do feel you taking command of that sword, being very direct, straightforward in your communication, because you are shifting out of our Four of Cups energy, and you're bringing in the Ace of Swords energy. You are bringing harmony and balance back into your life. You know where you want to go, and you are going to know how to get there. And what we see with both the Ace of Swords coming out here and our Cup of Abundance is Capricorn, this is going to be a wonderful new beginning for you. And because you are so clear about your direction, it's going to be successful. This is why we see the victory wreath on top of the sword. You're on the right track. Keep going. Keep your word to yourself. Be straightforward and don't let anybody veer you off course. Very strong energy coming through there, my dear Capricorns. Now let us see what routine is all about for you and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. 
So we want to see now what a sixth house energy is for Capricorn, please. And we have Nine of Cups, the Moon, and Temperance. I do feel that the Sixth House energy is very connected to our Libra energy. First and foremost, we must acknowledge the Moon energy because it tells us very clearly, my dear Capricorns, that this new Moon period is incredibly significant for you when it comes to what we are seeing and speaking about. This new moon period is taking you out of the Four of Cups energy where you might have felt that your everyday routine with your partner, with your friends, with your job, with your business was incredibly unfulfilling and pulling you down. This is where you are bringing in the biggest change. And we saw that with the King of Swords and Ace of Swords energy. You are cutting through this literally by standing up and letting your head rule your communication and actions. You, my dearest Capricorns, are about to bring in balance and change in this energy. So where it was lacking before, wherever you are moving on to, now is going to have this energy of renewed hope. My everyday existence does not have to be a burden. I can look forward to the new day. I can look forward to new blessings, new possibilities, new ways of doing things. Capricorn, you have Nine of Cups coming in here. The change you are bringing in to your everyday routine is going to give you a wish fulfillment. And that makes such great sense. Capricorn, when we stand up and say, no, this is not working for me any longer. It will be very personal to you, whether it's a relationship or a circumstance and why it's not working. But whatever it is, the everyday existence of it is now coming to an end and you are driving it with our King of Swords energy. You are bringing in something quite new for yourself that is going to give you the outcome you want. This is wish fulfillment. Whatever you're thinking of and dreaming of Capricorn, keep that in mind. Follow through. There is going to be big changes over this new moon period. Things are going to be revealed. Things will come to light. Things will be clear. You will get that breakthrough energy that you have been looking for. And you're going to have the courage, my dear Capricorns, to move to what you want. And you're going to get it because you have Nine of Cups coming out. So, my dear Capricorns, you are really rising up and taking strong decisions and actions to bring in what you want to see in your life. Very nice to see. You are a real powerhouse over our new moon period. Right, let us see now what our seventh house partners is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this partner's energy is for Capricorn, please. And we have Queen of Swords, Death, and Queen of Cups. My dear Capricorns, look what we are seeing for you this month. We saw you coming out as King of Swords. And here, under our partner's energy, we have Queen of Swords, who is facing our King of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Now, Capricorn, this is so interesting. You, my dearest Capricorns, by taking yourself out of this Four of Cups, I'm going to just actually put this over here. By you taking yourself out of this Four of Cups energy, 
removing yourself out of something that no longer works, no longer serves you, is pulling you down in a certain way. By you doing that, you are bringing in our death energy in that you are ending something that needs to go. And death is final. So it tells us you walk away from this energy. With that, you are putting yourself into a whole new arena, a whole new chapter or phase of your life. We see two people coming through for you over the new moon period. Now remember, the new moon is on the 6th of June. You are going to feel this energy for at least two weeks afterwards. The first person coming in is Queen of Swords. Once again, this could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Swords we are speaking about. Now, because we have King of Swords and Queen of Swords coming through, it tells us that this is a very deep connection. It could be a soulmate twin flame connection. So this could very well be the energy of meeting a new romantic partner, or it could be your existing significant other and you taking your relationship to the next level. It speaks to us of an engagement, a marriage moving in together. It could be that you meet somebody new in terms of a friendship, but it is such an incredible friendship, a friendship that fills you up on a very deep emotional level. So we do see our Queen of Swords coming through and really cementing our partnership energy. And this relationship is filled with harmony, balance. There's a lot of joy and a lot of love here. There is somebody else coming in under our partnership energy who's coming through as Queen of Cups. So this, my dear Capricorns, could be a new friend, a new business partner, a new colleague. It is somebody who is more emotionally based, where you might be more head based at the moment. But I do feel that you're going to complement each other wonderfully. You know, it could be a new colleague at work who is so different to you, but you work together so well. It'll come through very differently for everybody. But as we saw with our Libra energy and our seventh house energy, which both speak to us of partnerships and connections, and now we see two very distinct people coming through for you. Capricorn, it's Gemini season. So it's time to get out there, socialize, network, have fun, enjoy your existing love relationship, or find a new love relationship if that's what you want, make new friends, expand your social circle, and really enjoy the energy of connectivity. This is going to be a lovely new moon for you, Capricorn. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful and meaningful new moon period, and I am sending you all so much love.